Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be slightly different to what you're normally used to. That is because we are on the rescue mission, which is to go and rescue two beautiful little ponies, 128 and 129, in the very end of their life. They are blissfully unaware in the sunshine that is at the moment somewhere in France in a compound waiting to go to slaughter completely undeserving of what they've done, what they've given in their careers and how they must have formed people's expectation of what is possible in the equine industry. So Mummy Moon and I are going to go get organised. We have a friend of ours, Sean, who's going to come and look after the boys, do the school runs. So that frees us up to be able to go on this mission. And we want you to join us just to see exactly what it is that we do and why we do that. So. Stay tuned, watch this space, and join us on a very, very exciting journey. Good morning, everyone. It is reality check time. We are off to pick up those two little ponies who yesterday were going to the slaughterhouse. Today are coming back to the moons. And as we've said before, they put their trust in us humans, and it is so vitally important what we do with it. So we are going to go and get them and it's going to be the start of a new life for them. So let's go and get these ponies back here. Bonjour, j'arrive pour le camion. Oui, c'est ça. Oui, merci. So we just spoke to the guy, he's coming out, we're going to get in the lorry and we're going to go and get them. But just to say thank you so, so much. It is, without doubt, uh, this w without doubt it wouldn't have happened without you guys. So um, just a real heartfelt thank you from, from Jenny and I and everyone. Um, and yeah, it's going to be really good. So let's go get them. Okay, never a dull moment in the uh, the moon mission. It is a bit like a moon mission because the lorry that we'd hired to go and pick up the two ponies doesn't work. The guy only just got in it this morning. He hadn't tried it before and it's completely dead. And he's just informed me that there's nothing he can do. I said about jump starting it and all the other stuff. He said it's not his lorry. So we are now on the way back into Limoges to try and on the hurry up, because we have a very small window to get these ponies to try and find alternative transport. So let's go. Okay, so we just arrived at another place or the place we thought of, which is Pad, which is in Equestrian Supplies, and they have a little lorry just sitting over there. So we're gonna go in and see if we can secure it to carry on the mission. So we got to the Pad Limoges, they are amazing. They've got us the truck. We are ready now to go and get the two little ponies. They've been so, so helpful, very kind. And hopefully later on, we're gonna meet the boss and give her a big thank you because without them we'd be in all sorts of mischief. So let's go get them. We think we've made it. We are waiting at the end of the drive to speak to the lady who is our contact for the holding place where we are now. So we're just waiting for her to get back to us. Don't think we're going to be allowed to video in there for obvious reasons, but the next time you see us, hopefully we'll have the little girls. So look forward to this. Good 
doing, so I'm in the back with them. It is so cold here. Okay, so we're in the back with them. I'm not doing very well here, I've got to admit. Um, but we've got them both, so it's all good. We're gonna go, we're gonna head home now. Oh, it's one of the hardest things. There's been stunned silence in the van for the last 20 minutes, half an hour since we picked up what was described as two ponies, which transpired to be one horse and one pony. And bless them, completely in one of the most horrid places I've been in my life. There's, it's never good. Um, but they were just there surrounded by cows and bits of machinery and uh, yeah we picked them up and um, we put them in and they were willing to go on again yet again in spite of all that putting their trust in humans on the lorry and yeah we just very shell-shocked because uh, the condition of one of the I'd say the horses the larger of the two um, who's a chestnut mare horse she's very very unwell um, or very very bad condition so we're just taking it very very steady the other what seems to be a pony the other little pony she seems to be better but yeah they're just a bit um, as we are a bit shell-shocked um, they I, I I was just saying to Jenny I can't I don't understand what it is in human nature that allows for these sorts of things to happen. Uh, but I guess that's primarily one of the biggest things we're fighting for is to limit, and we will do by doing what we're going to do with the legends, we will limit the amount that this happens and people will become accountable because many people are responsible for the state of those animals but no one is accountable and we will be accountable for them till the very end of their days. So it's with a, a solemn heart and a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a lump in my throat that I leave you. But when we get the other end and we get them off, you'll just see exactly what it is that I'm talking about. And I'll uh, let the pictures speak for themselves. So we'll see you when we get home. Yeah. 